So this is Jeremiah McPherson, Hallelujah Johnson. We're back at you. This is an intro for Mortal Kombat Training Day 239. Um, just looking at my YouTube channel, I think I put 237 twice. Uh, yeah, so um, this is just a freestyle of me talking. I was looking up a quote from Robert Greene. But basically, I can sum the quote up. It talks about people playing weak or denying they playing power games. But in this game of life, everybody is playing power games. So don't be fooled by people's uh, meekness or weakness. Let's see. I think this is one of the quotes right here. In the game of power, the game of power is inescapable. Better to be an artist than a denier or a burglar. So I see a lot of people. First off, I can go back to what Jim Rohn was saying. He said when he was giving speeches, he was talking about people get in the book, The Richest Man in Babylon, and about 97% of the people do not get the book. And he says, walk away from that 97%. So if I'm over here studying, bettering myself, raising my IQ, studying, and you're talking about some random social celebrity bullshit, I don't give a fuck about it. I'm going to walk away from you because I feel like I'm better with my discipline, building my confidence and using my ego to work for me because my ego tells me I'm shitting on y'all. But other than me just saying it, I want to work and improve how good of an artist I am in this game of power. So if you're playing meek and you want to keep your game that way, it's because you're trying to fool somebody that hasn't been studying or that's um, ready to play that type of game with you. I'm not going to play that type of game with you. If you a porn star, stick to being porn. You're not my mentor or anything of that sort. If you're trying to work on that, then study. You're just not going, oh, I want to be a mentor, now I'm a mentor one day. No, you're a porn star, so you're going to stick to more of doing porn stuff. And that goes for neighbors, old friends, ex-girlfriends. I'm not fucking with you. If you're playing some weak, sissy, soy boy, bullshit-ass game, this is a Mortal Kombat training video. I will fuck y'all up. Real talk, this is Jeremiah McPherson, hallelujah, Johnson. I will fuck y'all up. So don't come at me with no weak, punk-ass bullshit. So this is Jeremiah McPherson, hallelujah, Johnson. I don't give a fuck about y'all getting those bodybuilders, those celebrities, whoever the fuck y'all get. Tiger, y'all bitches is dumb. Tiger, whatever. This is Jeremiah McPherson, hallelujah, Johnson. This is Mortal Kombat Training Day 239, and I'm right back at y'all, bitch niggas. Boxing workout. Before we get started, first of all, I hope that you started with a dynamic warm up. We're about to get a little mini one in right here. But I have a quote for you. The quote is All great changes are preceded by chaos. What does that mean? You can apply that to anything in life. So, for example, working out, fitness. It feels like chaos when you're in there. You have to break down that muscle in order to build it back up. It's not fun. For me right now, I'm moving. It's so hectic. It's so chaotic. But guess what? It's going to be a great change. So I want you to think about that when you feel like you're going through chaos. This is going to be a very high intensity cardio striking base workout. All right. Are you ready to go through some chaos? It's going to be worth it. It's going to be great. Let's go ahead and get started with our warm up. We're going to do an itch worm in three, two, one. Let's go. Up on your tippy toes, reach up, try and touch the ceiling, take a deep breath, then hinge at the hips as you exhale, bend down and forward. You're going to work all the way out into a high plank position. Squeeze your glutes, suck your belly button into your spine, walk it back. We're going to get one more, just like that. Big deep breath. <sighs> Audible breath. Let it out through your mouth. I want to hear it come out. Breathing is so important. Okay, let's push up the movement. Opposite hand, opposite foot. We are wider than shoulder width apart. Arms up, get up on your tippy toes. As you exhale, hand to the hips, your right hand is gonna touch your left toe. And then you're gonna alternate sides. Keep going just like that. Tippy toes. Down. Down. Okay, I wanna give a shout out to Michael McCusker. Woo, you've been killing it. I see you, working hard. We're gonna switch, lunge, upper rotated row body. Upper, whoops, blah, 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 blah. Lunge it out and then turn towards the side that you've lunged. Peter Pepper, Peter Pepper, Peter Pepper. Good job. 
Lead, upper, rotated upper body stretch. I cannot see today. Keep it going. Five, four, three, two. Last movement, torso twist. All right, so back to my shadow. Michael has been absolutely crushing it in the fight camp community. He's been training like a fighter. He's been warming up, stacking his workouts. He's been tasting his screenshots in the fight camp community. And he put up a video of himself hitting the bag the other day. You know what? Your technique looks really good, Michael. I'm proud of you. Keep up the hard work. All of the coaches at my camp are proud of you. Okay, let's go ahead and get into it. 160 punches. We want to make sure that we hit our punch count. Each round is structured a little differently, but it is all boxing the whole time. No body weight exercises. Are so, the first round is a burnout round. You're going to start off 30 seconds with a one. Next 30 seconds, one, two. Then you're going to post straight punches for 30 seconds. One, two, one, two, one, two. Then you're gonna repeat that, one, one, two, and we're gonna finish with a 30 second burnout. Your burnout is four straight punches and two hooks. It looks like this. One, two, one, two, three, four. But it's a burnout, so that means that you go as hard and as fast as you can. We're blowing out our lungs at the end of round one. You ready? All right, let's get it. Just the one for now. Ish. Only the one. Ish. If you feel comfortable, you can switch it up. Ish. Throw the one down low. Ish. You can double it out. Ish. Ish. Now, if you're just getting started, just focus on throwing a straight jab. Ish. Make this work out. Ish. Ish. As hard as you want it. Ish. And to your level Ish. of boxing. All right, now add the two. One, two. Ha. One, two. Ish. Ish. Make sure you're keeping your hands up. Ush, ush. I want you to really rotate. Ush, ush. Pivot. Sit down on your punches. Ush, ush. Beautiful. Ush, ush. Staying light on your toes. Things are slightly bent. Ush, ush. And you can move around the bag. You don't have to stay in one spot the whole time. Ush, ush. When you're fighting, you never just stand in one place the whole time. Ready? Let's pose now. Three punches. One to two. Directly to and from your face. Control your breathing here. Your punch count should be going up. Let's see if you can get 50 punches in this 30 second coast. You have five seconds left. Have you made 50 yet? Three, two, one. Back to just the jab. Let's go. Ha. Ha. Make your jab long. Ha. Turn it over. Ha. Ha. Throw it out and snap it right back to your face. Ush. Woo. Ush. Ush. Beautiful work. Ush. Keep it up. Ha. Five seconds and you're going to add the two. Ha. You ready to add the two? All right, let's add the two. One, two. Let's go. Ha. Ha. Make sure you're checking your stance. Your feet are not in a straight line. It's not a 45 angle. Knees are slightly bent. Ha, ha. Ha, ha. My body is weighted. I'm not square facing the bag like this. That's how you get caught. Weighted body. Ready for the burnout? It goes one, two, one, two, three, four. 30 second burnout finishes strong. Let's go. Ha, ha, ha. Woo. Ha, ha. Come on, you got it. Ha. Keep your hands up, don't let them drop. Ha. 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 This is it. Last 10 seconds. Ha. Ha. Come on. Ha. 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 Woo. Ha. Ha. And time. Catch your breath. You should be breathing real hard right now. That was a true burnout. 30 seconds is a long time to go ham. Just 
catch your breath, and then we're gonna get into the next round. The next round the structure is like a knockout power workout. We're gonna focus on power toes, which is a power punch, all right? So first, you're gonna start your combo of one, two, flip rear two. Try it with me so that you have it. You're gonna throw this combo for a full minute. One, two, as you pull the two back, flip to the rear side, and then fire back with the two. One, two, flip two. Then you're gonna power pose as hard as you can. Hard one, ah, hard two, ah. Then you're gonna build on it. One, two, slip two, you're gonna add a five, two. One, two, slip two, five, two. And then you're gonna power pose with some hooks. Don't worry if you don't have it. Well, we're building our way up slowly. Let's go. One, two, slip two. So, do it with me, match my cadence. One, two, slip two. One, two, slip two.
right now I just want you to focus on throwing the most perfect, most beautiful rear uppercut you've ever thrown in your life. Ush! Over and over again. Ush! One more. Ush! Okay, now you're gonna throw three up top. Stick to the body, three up top. Ush! Ush! Beautiful. Stay low. Ush! Ush! Keep your hands up by your face. Ush! Ush! Nice job. Ush! Ush! Hush, hush. Hush, hush. You got it. Hush, hush. Hush, hush. Two. And now you're going to slip to the lead side after the three. Ready? Six. Ha. Three. Ha. Slip, lead. Boom. That's it. Six, three, slip, lead. All right. You got it. Six, three, slip. Hush, hush. Flip it like you mean it. Get out of the way. You're slipping because the punch is coming towards your face. Get out of the way. Don't get hit. It's not fun. Six three slip. Ha, ha, ha. All right, now you're gonna come back with the three. So there's a reason behind the slip. So throw a six to the body. Boom. Throw a three to the head. Fuck. Uh oh. They're counter punching. Get out the way. But throw a counter punch. Three to the head. You got it. Six, three, flip, three. Beautiful. I'm gonna stop talking. Three with me. That's how you keep down going. Okay, now you're gonna roll to the rear side. Roll lead, roll rear, right? Six to the body, three. Flip lead, three. Roll, roll. That's it. Six, three, slip, three, roll, roll. When you roll, imagine like there's a pencil, like you're a unicorn with a pencil tip horn. You're just drawing at you. Roll, roll. All right, here we go. Now you're gonna fire back with the four. This is the whole combo that I said at the beginning. Stick to the body, three, slip lead, three, roll lead, roll rear, boom, four. You got it, six, three, slip, three, do it on your own time. You got this. Hey! Woo! Guess what round it is? Last round, best round. That's right. Your punch count for this round 220. Yeah, it's a lot of punches. This round structured a little differently. We're gonna have some fun. We're gonna do pot shots. I'll explain what that means. So you're starting off, you're just basically coasting almost the whole round with uppercuts. Coast, five, six, five, six, five, six. Just that for the first 30 seconds. Then the next 30 seconds when I say go, you're gonna throw a four. Boom. And then go back, coasting. Coasting, coasting. You wait, I say go and go boom. Just the four, that's it. Then go back. Then you're gonna break it up. Two, three, two. Two, three.